Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Beans. We are here on our Boardwalk Cafe, and we are trying to do... What are we trying to do? We have to research a rare, better recipe, earn four grand, serve people metal shavings, which I'm still very, very concerned about. That's not something you should do. Um, place at least eight tables, tolerate a mime, and then research 20 unique recipes. Okay, I think we can do this. I'm going to guess the mime is an event, street performer, folk art show, street performer. Yeah, they're mimes. So we need $250 for that. Let's get a driftwood table. Um, Let's start with outside seating for this level. And then we'll get a cheap driftwood chair. There we go. Okay, so let's start getting our appliances in order. Treasure chest cash treasure chest cash register. That'll be here. Fish head tip jar. Great. My favorite. Um coffee brewer in a bottle. I love how everything's like themed for um Hello, I'm hitting R. Okay, I guess I can't rotate that. Whatever, it'll go there. Um, I love how everything's themed for every specific level. Like, we got really hippy-dippy shit last episode for the college, and now everything's, like, nautical. So we have $160. Discus, discus fish tank and milker? Through a health and safety loophole, you've been able to classify the mucus-like protein secretion as edible milk. The trick is to tickle the fish while whispering in its ear. That ain't right. That's not right. Why? No. No. It's going up here. Because I can't rotate it, right? Yeah, I can't rotate it. So, no, uh, it's going over there. God's above. Um, <laughs> let's... I'm going to guess we can just do this to get a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay. And then... We can get two more... Jesus, $35 for the recipe? Was that how much it was last time? Yeah, it was. Um, it's $5 to actually research, but it's $35 to buy one. Okay, Café Almer. Coffee like Ernest Hemingway would have drank and subsequently spit out in disgust. Yeah, we're using fish milk, girl. That's gross. Um, I can't think of what this one would be, so I'm going to buy it. Just the fish tank milker. Okay. Disgusting fish slime slurry. Previously only thought of as a disgusting byproduct, byproduct of fish reproduction. Beans has figured out how to sell this substance for human consumption. Good. Good. My favorite. Um, we need to get some appeal. What's the highest appeal thing we can get? 50, 60, 100. Okay, so a hundred, but we don't have that much money. Um, let's. We can afford this globe. It's fine. We'll put it over here for some reason. Okay, money, please. Look, it already worked. <laughs> God's above. Did we give him his... No, we got him a regular order. How about you? Were we giving you your favorite order? No. <laughs> it's fine. We can get a barrel of grog. Pulled out of the wreckage of an English schooner. This ancient mix of rum, sailor spit, and the best brown water the Thames could provide. This level's disgusting. Everything's gross. Ugh. Um... Let's see if we can do this. Yes, yeah, so just grog. And then we're missing one more. I don't know what it is, and we can't afford to buy it yet, so let's chill out on that. Hello? Duh. Whoa. How do I... Oh, you just double tap on it. <laughs> it's almost like I haven't played this game for a minute. It's only been a couple days, and I'm still like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, 
So now we can afford to buy that because we have to research stuff. Let's purchase this coffee brewer and barrel. I was going to guess that, but it's fine. Caribbean coffee. Thanks to the new Alternative Facts and Labeling Act, we can sell dark rum and caffeine pills as coffee. I'm just... <laughs> What are we selling? We're selling like fish milk and alcohol. This level's fucking crazy. <laughs> God's above. Um, squid ink pump? Caution too much and you may be startled that you will... So startled that you will flee in terror. What the fuck is this level? Ah, oh, it wiggles. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? This is hilarious. <laughs> wow. Um, let's get another table. We'll put it... Well, I don't want to put it behind the tree because then I can't see it when there's um, trash on it. Trash! So there we go. We have two tables. And I want to put like sofas along this wall, but like the goal is to buy a bunch of tables. So we'll probably just put tables. We have bigger ones than just the bench, rocking chair, metal stool, tree section table. We don't have a long one. Just round tables, lobster trap end table. I don't know if that counts. Okay, it'll just be a bunch of round tables with chairs. That's fine. Okay, let's get another appliance. Oh, we have to research the squid ink. <laughs> it's not something I thought I'd be saying today. Um, goodness me. Uh, there's two things. So let's try the squid ink and the coffee. No. Okay, I, I don't like experimenting. I want to just buy this stuff. Squid ink. Uh... Fish milk and grog. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yum. So excited for this. Fishy white Russian. This would be funnier if there weren't already drinks like the Bloody Caesar, which actually have freaking shellfish juice in them. Humans are horrific. Girl, that sentiment right there. Humans are horrific. Um, <laughs> God's above. What's this one? Squidding pump. Just the squidding pump. Okay. The Black Shake. Literally just a tall glass of cephalopod ink. This drink will leave your tongue and lips jet black for hours, which is essentially free advertising for our shop. I'm very concerned at this level. <laughs> I'm very, very concerned about what is going on on this day. Dear gods. Okay. Well, let's get another... Cheap table and chairs. Okay. Table. And the chair. And then we'll get one more. Oop. Oh my god, come on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What else is new though, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have three tables. Researcher rare or better? Oh, okay, we already did that. Um, Eight tables. So it's going to be a little bit. We can fit another one here. We can f afford it. Let's do it. I just have to rotate this correctly. These are not on the same plane. It's fine. <laughs> I have an astigmatism and it makes depth perception really hard, but I'm pretty sure these are back further. I don't know. <laughs> I was born with an astigmatism and it had graduated to cataracts. <laughs> Let me know if you get that reference. Um, let's get an appliance. <laughs> Ship's sail strainer. Set sail for a taste adventure with the great taste of semen's blood and sweat. Mmm, my favorite. 
This this level's disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I keep hitting the wrong tab. That's not the one either, Mary. That one. There's only one thing. So it's going to be the tip jar, grog, and the strainer. That's concerning. Pennies and Rust Cocktail. Reminds you of that smell that gets on your hands after rolling change. Simply delicious. Oh my god. This is just disgusting. I'm like appalled at this level. It's so gross. And I mean, I'm not like I come from Colorado. I'm not an ocean person. The first time I ever saw the ocean, I was very afraid. Um, actually, the only time I've ever seen the ocean, very afraid. Not not my thing. But like, this is a little bit much. This is a little bit much. <laughs> oh, good. We're getting good reviews. Okay, that's nice. I guess that's something we have to do. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just concerned at what I'm giving these people. And I haven't even served them the metal shavings yet. I don't even know what the fuck that's going to entail. Oh, these poor people. Okay, let's get another appliance. Immersion blender. This was on the registry for a wedding of a cousin we hate. So we just kept it for the shop. Good, 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 good. Real good. I do like immersion blenders, though. They're very handy. Um, What could we blend? I'm going to guess the fish milk and maybe the squid ink. I don't know. Squid ink. Oh, I was right. I should have just tried it. What? What is this going to be? It's going to be like squid ink milkshake. The black smoothie. Arguably better than drinking the squid ink, ink straight. Froth discus fish milk and cephalopod excretion will have you doubting the existence of a merciful God. Well, that's that's pretty much accurate. Um, I'm very concerned <laughs> about this entire level. So, great. <laughs> oh my gods. People seem to like it, though. Hmm. Um. Who's my employee? Tad Chadson. A local surfing legend. Unfortunately, that doesn't pay anything, so here he is pouring coffee. I'm gonna hurry and get, the, get him, because it's gonna start getting hectic. Once we do like an event and stuff. So that's probably not a bad idea. Let's get some more tables and chairs. So how close can we get over here? That's the door. <laughs> so like right here. There's that one. That really looks like it's floating on top of the wall, but it's fine. This is all fine. We're not serving rotten fish milk and squid ink. No, we're serving wholesome things. Oh, God. Like, oh, that reminds me. Like, remember when Twitter went crazy over um, what pigeon milk is? When Brewster came out in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh, my God. That was an experience. Um, If you don't know, pigeons produce a, like... <laughs> Like a fluid inside their crop, which is where they store food to like grind up so they can digest it better, which is why some birds swallow stones. And then they feed it to their, their young because it's nutritious. But like Brewster asks you if you want pigeon milk in your coffee and everyone's like, oh, ha, ha, that's so cute. It's like milk in a pigeon shaped like glass. And like <laughs> everyone else was like, no, no, it's not. And so a bunch of people learned what pigeon milk was on that day. <laughs> I don't know if it was for better or worse, but they learned about it. Um, so yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> oh no, we are not tossing salads! Pirate salad tosser. Load up your food and blast it into a bowl. Delicious. Black powder poisoning is a matter for the courts. What the fuck? Okay, so real 90s kids. Do you all remember the salad shooter? salad shooter um <laughs> it was like a i mean it kind of looked like a meat grinder but you would just like shove vegetables in it and it would shoot out like chopped and sliced vegetables to make like chopped salads and stuff and they called it the salad shooter that's what they're playing on but tossing a salad is an entirely different entity um <laughs> my gods 
What is happening? I'm going to guess it's just the salad shooter. Salad, uh, salad tosser. <laughs> I'm going to call it the salad shooter. Gunpowder and pellet salad. The pieces of lead and sulfur give a much needed textural element to this otherwise bland salad. Good. I wonder if that's going to count as me selling metal shavings. Okay, so we've researched 20 unique recipes now. Um, God's above. <laughs> what you've done is illegal. <laughs> this place needs to be shut down. Okay, let's get another appliance because like we can afford it. Ship's cheese wheel. Oh dear. I have a feeling that like the cheese wheel and the salad shooter are gonna go together. God, I keep hitting the wrong freaking thing. Um, let's try it. It would save me some money. Cause like cheese and salad. Blue-eyed effigy? This recipe turned out stinging, and now the whole store smells like broth. Great. I don't know how a salad tosser and a cheese wheel gave me soup. But okay. What? Oh, that wasn't on the... Oh! That wasn't on the menu. Okay. Coffee brewer, fish tank, squid ink, cheese wheel. Oh, no. This sounds disgusting. Disgusting! Oh, that's one of my favorite little videos on the internet. Which one of you is... Uh, what was it? Who forgot to flush after having a shot? Wasn't me. Well, it's fucking one of you. Is. Disgusting! Oh, I love it so much. Lobster coffee ramelade. A seafood and caffeine mayonnaise abomination that begs for apocalypse. Oh my god, everything is fucking disgusting in this level. Like, the cottage... Cottage? The college level... Like, there was some gross stuff, but it wasn't every fucking thing. <laughs> this one is every single recipe is just disgusting. Um, What's this one? Ship's cheese wheel. So it's going to be like a cheese plate or something. Ancient cheese board, I was correct. The scent of pirate sweat and fine room temperature aging gives this extremely well-aged cheese board its character. Mmm, delicious. Stinky cheese. I mean, to be fair, that's, like, one of the more normal things that we have on this menu. Because, like, fish milk? Mary, fish milk. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, let's get another... A cauldron! Oh, here we go. This is right up my alley. Should the shop keel over sideways, this pot will stay upright. Good. Um, I guess I'm just gonna... S we can put it down here to block off so people can't get behind the counter. Um, keep hitting that tab. I'm going to guess that it's this and this to get like some kind of cheese soup. Fondant. Fondant? Fondant. This fondue would be pretty much okay if it weren't for all the pirate fingernails. Ugh. Fondant. Huh. Instead of fondue. Um, there's two other recipes. Let's try this. Um, the squid ink? Clever sludge. Oh, I think that blue-eyed thing was just a failure. And it wasn't actually on the menu. I'm silly. Alright. Hanging cauldron barrel of grog. What's this gonna be? Wassail. When you boil bottom shelf liquor, then throw in a stick of butter and an apple, you graduate from alcoholic to hobbyist. Mood. Alrighty, just the hanging cauldron. It's probably going to be soup or something. Yesterday's fish stew. We can cut down on losses by scraping the inside of the pot in the mornings and selling it at a premium. Mmm. God's above. Oh, I need to clean up all this trash, too. We're already serving disgusting stuff. We don't need all these wrappers everywhere. Okay, let's buy some tables. Because we're at one, two, three, four, we're at five. So we need three more. And I think we can just... We're gonna do this, and then we're going to pick this one up and put it, like, here. Alright, so we've placed eight tables. 
so that's good. Now we have to place all these bloody chairs. Ah, the rotation. <laughs> it haunts me. There we go. Okay, so we just need to earn $4,000, serve people metal shavings. I'm still very suspicious of that, then tolerate a mime. Um, I haven't seen metal shavings on the menu, so I'm going to guess that that's something coming up. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to leave you guys here. And next time, I guess we'll figure out how to serve people metal shavings. And we'll continue on with this disgusting mess. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Bye!